So, man, I'm curious, how are we feeling heading into fight night at the Apex on Saturday? Uh, I'm feeling good, feeling good. Weight's, weight's right, right where it needs to be, and we're here. There's a rumor this card might have taken place in Korea. Are you happy that it's taking place here? Uh, I was a little bummed at first just because I wanted, I love traveling. That's one of the best parts about the job, being able to travel around the world. Um, but now it's in, in my backyard in America, so it, it's, it's good. Short travel, I'm happy with it. You do trade that, but you don't get the fans. You know, the Apex is a unique experience. Is that something that kind of bums you out a little bit? I don't really care. You know, fans, no fans. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I've had really good fights in front of fans and bad fights in front of fans and vice versa with no fans. So it's, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm there to, I'm, I'm coming to fight and uh, yeah. With the fight itself, is there anything in particular you're expecting out of this guy or you think uh, it's just going to be an all-rounder and we'll go every way it goes? Uh, yeah, he's, like you said, all-around, durable guy, uh, good at striking, stuff like that. But yeah, I, I, I picture him coming at me pretty hard and I'm going to come at him pretty hard and drag him around the ring, you know what I mean? Nice. So you're expecting potential finish if he slips up and you can, you can meet in the middle and you can just sort of outlast him in that exchange or, or what do we think? Oh, yeah, 100%. I, I'm looking for a finish. I haven't had a ground and, found, ground and pound finish in the UFC in a while and he's a good guy for that. You know, he, he's a good candidate. Nice. Appreciate it. Hey, Devin. Hey. Um, what did you learn from your last fight? Uh, <laughs> to, when you get in that cage, you better damn fight. Um, I didn't quite do that that night. Uh, I had a few things going into that fight right before I hurt my pinky toe and uh, broke my hand in the fight. I got punched in the neck, and then that all comes down to me just being a sissy when it, when it comes down to it. Uh, I, I wasn't able to mentally overcome that, and I should have been able to. I've done it before, uh, you know, but now I'm back on that mindset, no excuses. I'm going to finish this, finish this fight and do whatever it takes to, to win this fight and to finish it. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. Thank you. Uh, and finally, uh, there's a brown bear on this card, then there's a polar bear on this card. So the question is... Who's the polar bear again? Sergei Spivak. Oh, okay. So the question is, what's the better bear? Well, in, in, <laughs> I'm going to go with the brown bear, but in real life, the, the polar bear is a, a mean-ass bear. I mean, that's, that's the top bear. But, uh, you know, a bear's a bear at the end of the day. We'll both tear you up. Uh, are you a fan of the panda bear? What about the panda bear? <laughs> are you are you referring to me as the panda bear now? No, I'm just oh, saying. No. Are you a fan of the panda bear? Yeah, they're cute. They're cute. But I'm sure they can be even a little bit aggressive too. I don't know. I've watched some videos online, and they're you know they're cute. They're falling over and yeah, like little puppies. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. What about cocaine bear? Cocaine bear. Have Who's... you? Seen... It's a movie. Have you? Ever... Oh. <laughs> no. Sorry, is there I cocaine in my? Like... Anything. <laughs> I don't know about little cocaines. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. Is it good? I don't know. I haven't seen it either. I, I saw the trailer and it's like, oh, it's just one of those movies. It's, that, it's based on a true story. Is it, is it really? I mean, like 1% of it. Yeah. Some, in, in America? Uh, yeah. It, oh, cocaine oh, fell out of a plane and a bear. Anyways. What a scary yeah. situation. But my actual question... Um, You'll be fighting much later than you're probably used to. Have you been adjusting to that, or have you done anything to prepare for uh, that? A little bit. I'm a night owl anyway, so it, it's kind of whatever. But just sleeping in a little bit more, taking some naps during the day. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter what time it's at. If it's at 3, 4 in the morning, whatever. When it's time to fight, it's, it's got to be time to fight. And uh, like I said, um, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. And uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. There's a time, location, whatever. Let's go. Thank you. All good? I got one oh. more. Yeah, I got one more. Is your dad going to be in the building this weekend? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, yeah. He's, so my dad's not in the corner this time, uh, but he will be in attendance in the apex, so it'll, it'll sound the same. That's what I was um, looking forward to. How loud is he going to be this weekend? Oh, I'm, I'm sure he'll be louder because he doesn't have – you know, he doesn't have to deal with the commission and them telling him to quiet down or sit down, whatever. He can do his thing. He'll have a few drinks in him, I'm sure. Uh, so it, it, hopefully it's just a fun time for him and fun time for me, uh, him watching his son go out there and, and win this fight and produce. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a beautiful setup. Love it, brother. Is, is that is your shirt says something about a dad on it? <laughs> Happy dad. Oh, <laughs> I like it. All right, bro. One follow-up. Um, is it coming up on a year or two years 
that you've been at Team Elevation? Uh, a year. A year. This is my uh, third fight camp with Team Elevation, and Cody and Cody Donovan, Vinny Lopez, uh, they're great coaches, man, great coaches, and I feel like we fit together really well. They've pushed me in all the areas I need to be pushed, and, and you know, we kind of have like a, a, a verbal contract with each other, it, and I have to meet the, this criteria that they set for me, and, and that's what we've been doing, and we've been based it all off of that. I know that it, t- it takes a little bit of time to like kind of mesh and like feel part of the family, but do you feel like you're part of the family? Yeah, I mean, Vinny's yelled at me, so that's that, that's a good sign, right? <laughs> Once your coaches are comfortable enough to start yelling at you, like, and and giving you that tough love, uh, that's that's a sign. And and you know, this this that was my last time changing camps. You know, going to Denver, that's my last time changing camps. I'm I'm here throughout my career now. Um, and I'm, I'm settling in, and we're getting better as a team. Yeah, and you know, with that team, I don't think it's kind of talked about enough that that room that you train in has a bunch of killers. And oh, yeah. uh, so how's it just like being in there with Curtis and Zach and, and uh, uh, Ben tying in? Like, just like, you guys are just nothing but monsters in there. It's good. It's It keeps you honest, that's for sure. You're feeling good, and then you, you – you might be feeling good going into practice, and you come out of practice, get your ass kicked, because they don't care. You know, Zach, Zach's one of my uh, main training partners, and he, he's kind of an ass, <laughs> you know, and I love it. And it's making me better, and it's making him better, and, and hopefully that's rubbing off on me a little bit, because I've always heard I'm, I'm too nice, and people bring that up when talking about getting into the cage and stuff like that. It's like, I, you know, it's hard to turn that off, but you can train that, though. You can train to be an asshole, and Zach's helping a lot with that. <laughs> so are we going to get Devin the asshole Clark? Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit fired up right now. I'm ready to go. Like I said, I'm prepared, and, and when you're prepared like I have, it's easy to let that come out. I'm not second-guessing stuff. I'm not, you know, amping up in my head. I'm not lying to myself. Like, I'm ready to go. We've had a great camp, and I'm ready. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. What's your one tip to be a bigger asshole? I could use that, I think. Oh. I, I got to go back into my notes. <laughs> uh, no, just like not caring um, about the other person that, that, that you're going with. Um, and obviously, we're training. So it was Zach. We're, we're training. So we're not trying to absolutely knock each other out or hurt each other. But there's times in there where it, it hurts. And I used to when I hit my smart partners too hard or something like that, I used to say like, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I haven't done that lately. Um, so that's just a good sign. Like I'm unapolog- unapologetic, yeah, I, I'm not gonna say that word. I can't say it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna apologize for, you know, training hard and, and trying to get better. Yep. Awesome, thank you guys.